Now, what in the carnival is going on here? So we have a very disgusting and unsanitary topic to crawl into for today's video. So I do want to advise all you fine folk, if you're a little squeamish, you should get out the room now, run away before it's too late. As we are going to be talking about a cockroach that was found on board an older carnival ship. I do have the video footage, and as you could imagine, people are divided. You have the carnival people, the very important fun people, the carnival lovers out there that say this is just a one-off thing, and the person that recorded this, a passenger, and put it up on social media could have been a spy. They planted it. They're from Royal Caribbean or MSC, and, well, they want to make Carnival look bad. Well, you have the others that were already kind of anti-Carnival, don't cruise Carnival, that are stating that, well, I'm not surprised. It's probably some type of infestation of rats and all types of critters and insects and bugs on board Carnival ships. Now, let me make it very clear before we dive too deep into this creepy crawly story. I personally do not believe that there are any bug infestations or rodent infestations of any kind on board any Carnival ships, let alone any any cruise ships that are maintained well and I want to say are arguably very popular. I believe that cruise ships and cruise lines and the crew on board do go out of their way to make sure that cruise ships are the most cleanest, hygienic places that you could ever be. Now let's take a look at the clip. conundrum came about whenever somebody made a post on Carnival's loyalty program page on Facebook, the very important fun persons club members stating that there were roaches on board the Carnival Glory cruise ship. Now just to give you a little context, the Carnival Glory was launched in the year 2003, holds 3,000 passengers, currently operating seven day sailings out of New Orleans. As you could imagine with this being a Carnival loyalty members page, people are naturally going to jump to the defense of Carnival Cruise Line, saying things like, well, you know, it's a cockroach. Maybe it got in a bag, your bag possibly, either a souvenir or a box, or it came on board via somebody carrying it on there accidentally not seeing the cockroach. That is very plausible. Yet another person bring up the Titanic of all things, saying that there were rats on board the Titanic, which this is over a hundred years ago. I don't believe that really has any merit. What does, however, say that critters are going to get on board cruise ships. Cruise ships are not automatically out of the realm of possibilities for things like rats and other bugs and anything else to possibly get on board. However, now in today's age, you do have things like rat guards and the cruise lines go out of their way to spray whatever they need to spray to make sure everything is well in tip top shape to the best of their ability. However, you do have the outside elements, especially if you are sailing out of some place that maybe has a tropical climate. I'll elaborate more on that a little bit later. There was a lot of back and forth on this conversation thread here and things started to get a little heated. You had the original creator come in and say that they were just simply trying to help and warn everybody on what's going on with the carnival glory also stating that they didn't only see roaches well i guess in the clip because they posted the clip in the room saying they did see it in the room allegedly like i said you look at the phone and everything that looks like a cabin but they said they also saw it over in the serenity deck and other parts of the ship and they even had somebody with the carnival crew come in and i guess had to put out bug poisoning or something with mask on inside of that specific room and well it's just a giant mess there are two points that i want to bring up with this whole little gigantic issue here when it comes to let's say carnival glory or any ship that's sailing out of the south in this specific case it is new orleans me as somebody that is a florida native i will tell you right now it does depend on the kind of cockroach that you see inside of a house even if yes both are technically disgusting to absolutely see there is the american cockroach you'll see there is the what is the palmetto bug those cockroaches that fly those are the worst ones if you live somewhere that has a warmer climate you know damn well you are going to to see bugs get in from time to time whether it's a beetle a, a ladybug a mosquito what have you it's going to happen what you got to watch out for are the german cockroaches normally if you see one of those in a house then yeah, at that point, you can probably assume and confirm that there are probably multiple and you may be dealing with an infestation. I can't see exactly what type of cockroach it is. Maybe somebody that's a the bugologist or some a bug person can tell me what they saw in the clip. But uh, of course, let me know your thoughts on that specific situation because, yeah, I mean, either way, nobody wants to see cockroaches over in their room. But I would imagine if there was an actual infestation on board the Carnival Glory, by now we would have saw tons and tons of videos and clips and images. I have been on a lot of cruise ships, as many of you all know. 
I have seen a lot of rust. I've seen leaks. I've seen floods. I've seen the plumbing go bad with the toilets not working or it even just randomly flushes out of nowhere then and over floods and all this stuff. However, as far as bugs, I am thankful to say that I haven't seen that. I know we had a situation, what, on Royal Caribbean ship? I forgot which one, where there were bed bugs. I would just say that, yes, when it comes to living creatures, they are going to get into places that maybe we might not find them suitable or something that is comfortable for our personal standards. But I will say that it is what it is. If there is an infestation, obviously, by all means, yes, contact who you need to contact. Shout it from the rooftops. Go ahead and call the, I don't know, the, the VP of a carnival and do what you need to do. But I would say, considering in the video that I saw, it's just one cockroach and it doesn't look to be the one that kind of points out that there is an infestation, I would say this is essentially a non-issue. Obviously, take the non-issue point with a grain of salt. If that was my situation, I saw some kind of cockroach in my room, and I know for a fact that I personally didn't bring it in. Actually, I know for a fact I wouldn't bring any cockroaches in. I proof check all of my stuff and thank what to say everywhere I go is as clean as it possibly can be. Nevertheless, I would, of course, maybe want to try to see if I can switch rooms or maybe if something can be done, somebody can come to the room and spray, whatever the case may be, if I were to encounter that. But once again, I do believe that most if not all cruise ships are up to standard as far as the sanitation department and cruise lines go out of their way to make sure they are as clean as humanly possible but of course let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below is this something that would drive you away is this something you think is a non-issue do you think it's a possibility that maybe somebody could have accidentally brought a cockroach on board and it ended up in the cabin let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of course hit that like button on your way out subscribe if you haven't already and know that i love each and every one of you i'll see you later take it easy